Okay, we are now on page 13 of the Coding for Beginners Using Scratch book. And at the top of page 13, it says adding music. It says you can also add music for the dinosaur to dance to. And what we want to do is click on, let me stop this program here so we're not distracted by the dancing dinosaur. And I want to click on the sounds tab, which is right here. And then on the speaker. Okay, so here's a speaker, and if you pause the mouse, it says choose sound from library. So there's a whole library full of sounds here. And we want um, music loops. So over here on the side, we want a category called music loops, and that'll reduce the options for us here. And it says, and choose a tune. And we'll choose the one that they chose. Uh, these should be alphabetical again. So let's go to the H's, and there's one called Hip Hop. I'm going to click on the play button here. Okay, so it'll, since these are loops, it will play that over and over and over again. So this time I'm not going to click on the air. I'm going to click on the speaker uh, to select it and not play it. And then click on OK. And now um, that gets added to the sounds area for my dinosaur and now we want to go back to the scripts area which is right here and we want to create another script and this will also begin when we click on the green arrow so our green flag rather and um, I'm on the middle of page 13 now and we want a forever loop that's a control command so uh, let's take our forever loop and drop it underneath when clicked and I want to tell it to play a sound. So it's going to be on the sound group. And I want to play sound until done. So let's click on this and drag it out. And I want to play the hip hop sound that's already there by default for me. And if I want to change it to something else, I have some other choices here, but we're going to leave it like that. Okay. Now let's click on the start button here. And uh, he should start moving and he should uh, we should hear this music in the background as well okay so let's start it okay now we're on the bottom of page 13 and we want to add a backdrop to finish the animation okay so we want to click on the picture of a landscape below the stage to open the backdrop library okay so let me get rid of this here and let's see click on stage over here and then here is the new backdrop so there's the icon that we want and it says scroll down until you find a backdrop that you like so I'm going to kind of look around a little bit here and see if I can find something that I like. We've got quite a few of them here. And this is all of my backdrops. I'm looking for the one uh, that they have. And I would think that would be an outdoors one. So I'm looking for the desert that they have. Yeah. Oh, there it is right there. So I'm going to do that one then too. Click on it and you get a blue box around it. Click on OK down here in the lower right hand corner. And there we go. And so now we've got a backdrop for our dinosaur to do his dancing. And that takes us to the bottom of page 13. So that's where we will end this video.